good morning everybody welcome back to another vlog it is bright and early on a monday morning it's not that early it's like 8 30 um and i am going to another doctor's appointment to start off the day we'll talk about it but this is the first monday the first day back to like reality that truck was very loud this is like the first day back to reality since losing moo and it's really weird and it's just yeah we'll talk more about it later but if i see him a little downtrodden um that's why i'm just trying I, I have no choice but to put one foot in front of the other and continue i can't like you know miss these appointments or i get charged and i have work to do and i have deadlines to meet and there's just a lot going on so life goes on i'm just trying to put one foot in front of the other same with drew we, we were talking this morning we were like we just have to get through today and then tomorrow we just have to get through tomorrow and that's really all you can do so i just want to say before i like get into the actual vlog i just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has <clears throat> everyone who has sent like the kindest most thoughtful comments and messages and such sweet things to say about moo i mean i just loved him so much and it just means a lot that he also impacted you all in even a small tiny way so as i said before i'm comforted by hopefully the fact that like you know him and layla are together and reunited but anyways um i am actually running late as usual but i'm on my way i know it's been like a lot of doctor's appointments lately but i think i said it in previous vlog I'm, i just kind of like booked everything all at once but i'm actually on my way oh no you're wobbling but i am actually on my way to the doctor's office to the gynecologist and I haven't been to the gynecologist since 2021 which if you have been following me since then or didn't know I had a horrible last experience at the gynecologist which is weird because it was a woman doctor I was at a women's health center like it was just it just threw me for a loop and basically this doctor told me that you know everything that was wrong with me when it came to my periods even though i expressed that i have a lot of symptoms of like either pcos or endometriosis i'm not really sure she assured me that it was actually just because i had gained weight and when i tried to say well i th these symptoms occurred long before i gained weight it was actually like it's been, i've had my period since i was 12 and it's been really bad especially over the last like 10 years or so but i mean even since high school and she was just like well lose weight and that was sort of her solution for it i don't know what's going on with this lighting sorry i can't look at the screen but it was the most jarring experience because i had always heard about you know other plus size people that i follow going to the doctor and like being like oh my wrist hurts and they're like well lose weight and i just never experienced that which says a lot about you know my privilege and stuff but i you know went to this doctor expecting them to just be like here's the answer you're looking for and i was just totally shocked so anyway i have just like not gone back since then because I've been so afraid of that happening again. That was like one of the most embarrassing, shame inducing experiences of my life truly. <laughs> and also to just like not be listened to by a doctor and be like, well, I'm in like, you know, immense pain and there's this and that going on. And they're just like, well, you're fat, so. And then she like, the cherry on top was she tried to like sell me some Kegel balls that she was like, it was like a, use my coupon code and I get like an affiliate. I don't know, it was just very, very bizarre. So that sucked. Now I'm just trying to muster up the courage to go back. So I heard about this place called Tia. This is not sponsored at all. I've seen influencers work with them before, but I'm truly like paying with my own money. I heard about this place that's sort of like a like a women's health center and i think they kind of have a blend of like they have doctors but then they also do things like um acupuncture and more sort of eastern medicine and things like that um if you want so i think it's just kind of a combination of like holistic and traditional medical care and i thought that was really cool um and you have to pay a membership of 15 dollars a month but they do take my insurance which is amazing and i've just heard from people that they've had like really amazing experiences Experiences and I could really use that right now. <laughs> I'm hanging on by a thread. So I feel like if this goes south, then I'll be worried. Mm. Side note, I forgot I brought my fresh orange juice that I got from the farmer's market yesterday. Where is that siren coming from? Oh, right here. Oh 
my god, that's the best orange juice I've ever had in my life. I'm not exaggerating. Mm. Whoa. That literally tastes like candy. That really just hit the spot. I don't, I'm not really like a massive orange juice person unless it's like fresh squeezed. And this, I mean, look at this color. Unbelievable. Anyway, so yeah, I'm excited to see. I've just heard people have really good experiences. Like they don't weight shame you there. They're just very kind of like progressive thinking. It just seems very like new wave, but I'm gonna test it out. So, I mean, you can cancel your membership at any time, but I've just heard such good things that I'm like so excited. And it's, it looks really cute. Like it looks like very bougie. And so I'm gonna try to like take some clips when I'm in there. Obviously like in a respectful way, I'm not gonna like show anyone else. But yeah, that is what we're gonna do this morning. So again, just wanted to, I know this is like a long, <laughs> really long start to the vlog but I just wanted to say thank you so much thanks so much for being there for us and for extending so many well wishes to Drew as well and just so much love and support and I just feel so grateful for you all and like I'm very fragile so I will start crying um so I'm gonna go but yeah let's check out this doctor's office and see what it's all about and fingers crossed for a much better experience than last time yikes Okay, just left my appointment and honestly, it wasn't bad. It really wasn't bad. I didn't get any sort of like shaming vibes or anything like that. Um, it truly just felt very normal. And actually even when I like first sat down in the exam room and like the one of the techs came to like speak to me, I don't know the proper word. The person who speaks to you like before the doctor comes in, um, she asked me, have you ever been tested for PCOS? Like immediately after I started explaining my symptoms and I was like, no, I actually haven't and so they ended up doing like blood work for me in house There were some other like issues that I had um, Concerns with and they have other people in house to deal with that kind of thing So that's gonna be like a later appointment I didn't need like a pap smear because I had already had that done and because of my age and the fact that my last one came back normal Etc. Etc. Um, we're good. Like I'm good for another I think three years or something like that because I think you only have to do it every five years at a certain point if they come back normal um, but I did have my annual and everything is good there and yeah I feel really good I'm really glad I did that and I put it off for two years it for a good reason. I mean, I was very like rattled the last time, but I will say that this was a great experience and like, I will definitely keep going here. I, there wasn't any sort of judgmental language or anything. Um, even when I like was giving some of my like medical history to them, they said, are you comfortable telling us your weight? Like, I just thought that was really nice. And I was like, yeah, sure. And they asked questions like, you know, how many partners do you have currently? And do you feel safe in those relationships? And I don't know, it was just like, it was really great. It felt like very different from what I'm used to. It was still a doctor's office, don't get me wrong. Um, it was definitely still a doctor's office, but I really enjoyed it and I'll definitely go back. So anyway, got some blood work done and we will wait to hear the results back and then we'll just kind of go from there. So anyway, I am feeling a little bit better. I was gonna like go walk and get a smoothie and maybe walk down to the beach and just kind of enjoy it on the beach. But honestly, I'm wearing like Birkenstocks right now and I don't know why, I just like can't walk long distances in those. It feels like they're gonna fly off at any second. <laughs> and also I'm just tired. I wanna go home and like catch up on some work. I do feel like just catching up on work will distract me and I really need that distraction right now. So that's what I'm choosing to do. Everyone's grief is totally different, but I just feel like I need um, like to jump into work because that's what helps me. I'm a Capricorn. So anyway, I'm really pleased with that experience and I thought that I would start off this vlog by, you know, hopefully encouraging you to continue seeking the care that you deserve um, because it feels really good. So two thumbs up for me. I'm going to head on home and we will catch up later.
actually um, like a couple days later, I think. I don't honestly remember. I am just getting ready to head out the door. I just got dressed because, you know, I've been trying to get dressed more lately. And I'm going to wear my new gazelles that I just got. These red platform ones. They're so cute. Listen, I saw an opportunity and I took it. So I'm wearing these for the first time. I've never worn them before, which is a little brave because I will be out and about like all day today. So <laughs> we will see how that goes. I ordered these in my usual size, but they are a little bit big. Just FYI, if anyone was interested. Oh my God, those are so cute. So I'm doing like a little bit of a pop of red moment today. So I have my little Hollister. Here's an outfit of the day. I have my little Hollister baby tee on. I have my... Old Navy, I believe. Little skirt. It's actually a workout skirt, but I'm just wearing it as a normal skirt. It's kind of like ribbed and it has these little slits and I mean, it has shorts. And then I'm just wearing this vintage denim jacket that I got in a mystery thrift box. I'm gonna do these little sunglasses from Amazon that are so cute. I unboxed them recently. And then to top it all off, we're gonna do a red bag. Here, I'll show you the the full OOTD. We're feeling very 90s as usual, and this is so much fun, I love this. I will be explaining later, but I'm getting my hair done today, and I think I'm doing something quite different. But first, I need to get my nails done. They're just very grown out and um, unfortunate looking, so we're gonna do that first. And then we're gonna go get my hair done after that, but I thought I would check in, say good morning. I also remembered this time to pack my laptop so that I can get my editing work done while I'm getting my hair done because I'll be at the salon for like probably six hours because that's how it goes with blondies. But yeah, we're gonna head in the car, get these nails fixed and then do something fun for fall. I'm so excited. All right, just finished my nails. They're looking so cute. They're brown and like just very fall inspired it's very overcast today and i know i like keep talking about fall but honestly we don't really get it here so it's just like a state of mind for me it's just fun to like feel the cozy vibes i am ready for some chillier temperatures but today does feel like very fall-esque weather so anyways that's done i think it's really cute and fun i went for more of like a natural shape this time i'm just getting tired of like having longer i mean my nails are always short but that sort of round pointed I'm just over that. So anyways, now I am at the salon and we're gonna say goodbye to this hair. This isn't like the greatest lighting. Let me do this. Maybe this helps a little. So we're gonna say goodbye to this hair. Basically, um, the last time I got my hair done, I wanted to do more of like a rooted look because I wanted it to blend in with my natural hair color, which is like this up top. But I just am not feeling it. Um, and that's the beauty of having your own hair is being able to do whatever the hell you want. So I wanna try something that I've like kind of done before, but a little bit different, like definitely way more subtle. And that's like a coppery kind of tone. I've been getting tagged and just like commented and DM'd and whatever on so many TikToks of people being like, you need to go cowboy copper for fall. And that's like a thing that people are calling it on TikTok where it's this sort of strawberry-ish, coppery-ish blonde hair color for fall. And I like love coppery tones on me. I loved my red hair when I first got it done, but I think it just got a little bit muddy as I got it done like a couple other times and like the red just faded right away. And then also like my roots were really dark. So then it was like my roots were dark and then it was like super bright red. And it's just like, wasn't my favorite thing. Um, So I feel really safe in the hands that I'm in right now with the girl who does my hair. She's amazing. So I'm excited to see what we come up with. It might be pretty subtle, but to me it's gonna be very exciting. So anyways, no one cares. I'm gonna go <laughs> and get my hair done. We are gonna say goodbye to this color and I will see you in about, God, honestly, like six or seven hours when we have the finished results. I'm so excited. Yay! Okay, I'm back home. Are we ready for the reveal? Oh my God. Here is what it looks like. I love it. Hold on, let me turn on the light. It truly looks different in every lighting. Like when I was standing outside taking photos earlier, it literally just looked blonde, like dirty blonde. And then in other lights, it looks kind of brown, but right now it looks fully copper, but either way, I'm obsessed. It's so fun. It's just like a toner. So I did my usual like highlights and it's blonde underneath, but this is just like a toner that'll wash out in a few washes, but uh, 
I love it. It's so much fun. So much fun for fall. It's like exactly what I wanted in this lighting right here. I also bought a, that, a thing that I saw on TikTok that I did show my hairstylist, by the way, and she is okay with it. It's like a semi-permanent or like temporary um, little like color booster thing, like conditioner that you can put in with your regular conditioner, like mix it up. It's not overtone. Don't worry. Um, but anyway, she looked at it and was like, it's all good. You can use that. No problem. And just like kind of let it fade out when I wash it. But ah. Uh, so much fun. So glad I did that. I'm exhausted. I was there for six hours. I'm literally so tired, but that was just so much fun. So anyway, it's a new era for me, honestly. I'm obsessed.